Hi there guys, my name's John Dean. Welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I just wanted to talk about um, a couple of things. Firstly, um, I decided to practice my skills in product photography this week. Um, and um, I came up with this picture. So here's a picture of the picture that I created. That's a bit of a weird way of saying it, isn't it? Um, but um, yeah, basically I received some new earphones in the post and I thought, you know what? It's a good opportunity to practice some product photography. Um, so I thought, first of all, I'll just chat about that quickly um, and uh, how I came to uh, that photo. Um, so first of all, I recently picked up a little tea stand um, and uh, I have also got like a PVC backdrop. So I attached that to that. I've got my light here um, and so had that on the image uh, and um, they're, they're primarily, well the earphones themselves are made particularly for gym users so I decided to get a dumbbell I've got and sort of layer that out in the product itself and just so you know Peter McKinnon, I'm a great fan of Peter McKinnon. Um, he's done a few videos on how to do product photography and he is just like incredible like photographer all around, both in landscapes and in products and things, product photography. Um, and he basically said that in order to, you know, when you're doing product photography, it's all about texture. You're trying to have loads of textures in there. So the sort of the roughness of the dumbbell, um, uh, fairly old, so it's a bit rusty as well, and the metallic, um, the metallic bar. So this bar has obviously got a lot of uh, sort of rings around it. Um, so that all that sort of put together provides a lot of texture. Uh, also, I decided it's just a little lanyard. I decided to add that to the picture as well, which just gives it that little bit of extra um, something to look at. Um, when you're doing product photography, it's all about the details, making sure the details are right. Um, and basically I pulled it into Photoshop. Uh, it looked fairly good uh, on camera anyway, uh, but pulled it into Photoshop. And the, one of the biggest things that you must do when you're filming, uh, when you're taking photos is to shoot in raw in raw photo format as opposed to JPEG photo format um, if your camera supports raw photography. Raw photos uh, hold a lot of data which enables you to really pull out the colors that you want, uh, the exposure. So if you take a raw photo and it's really dark, you can, uh, on your camera, you can actually really pull that up uh, when you're in your photo editing software and make it really stand out and bright um, because it holds so much data. So definitely worth shooting in RAW. In fact, I don't shoot in JPEG anymore, um, really at all, um, unless I'm on my phone, obviously, uh, because um, it's not worth it. You can do so much with raw photos. Um, so yeah, I manipulated the raw image, uh, first of all. I then um, also added a little lens flare effect on the edge of the earphones, uh, which was a nice touch, I thought. And then I also um, put an overlay of lens flare across the whole thing. So all in all, I was fairly happy with it. That being said, you know, I can always improve. And to be honest, that was my first ever attempt at, at um, product photography. Um, so as a first, a very first attempt, um, I was quite happy with it, to be honest. I'm sure there's room for improvement. There was a bit of noise and a bit of grain uh, on there, which I was, you know, could, could have been better. Um, but um, yeah, basically I was quite happy with the final image. Um, and also I thought yesterday, I'm trying to, as you know, I'm trying to release a video a week on Sunday at 7 p.m. And I've been doing that all through 2021, which I'm really happy with. Um, and I thought what I do yesterday is, uh, I'm filming on Sunday, by the way. Um, so yesterday on Saturday, what I thought to do was try and do like a little product um, video uh, promo uh, for the earphones just for a bit of fun using my backdrop uh, with a white background this time because I discovered black you just can't see it um, when you're filming uh, the earphones because they're black themselves. This is the setup. I'm about to do a high frame rate throw see if that works. Go dogs SL60, aperture light domain mini 2, Sony ZV1, K1 
capable of shooting up to 260 frames a minute and uh, an LED light on top. Let's see if this works. Um, so yeah, used a white backdrop, uh, put the dumbbells in, came out with some nice shots. In fact, I'll play a couple of clips now. But wasn't really happy with it. I tried to use the slow motion um, uh, abilities on my camera. I was actually filming at 960 frames a second, if that means anything to you, which is an extremely high frame rate. Um, and for whatever reason, I just didn't notice the settings were just shot away uh, and it just didn't look good at all. So um, I was a bit discouraged because I, I really wanted to come up with something nice. Um, I watch a lot of other YouTubers like Daniel Schiffer uh, is an incredible videographer when it comes to products, promos and things. So I've been watching a couple of his videos and thought, you know, let's give it a go. Was a bit discouraged at you know my first attempt, um, but part of the reason why I wanted to do this video was um, to just keep encouraging you to give it, give things a go, keep moving. Um, you know, if you if you're in a car and you've got the ability to drive somewhere, um, but you're just sitting there on, on your phone watching uh, a tutorial on how to drive, then that's not gonna get you anywhere. You need to put the phone down sometimes and just put the accelerator on and get moving. So just wanted to do this quick video to encourage you to keep practicing um, and to keep uh, doing things that you love to do, really. Um, I did a similar video a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> but, I wanted to, I really wanted to get you, you know, show you a working version of the promo that I did, um, but that didn't happen. Um, and ultimately, I think a lot of the time I realized that over the last 24 hours, I just need to slow down. Like sometimes I try and rush to do like a great looking video, um, partly because I've, you know, I've got, I'm a busy chap, I've got two kids, two young boys, a lovely wife, uh, busy job, things like that. So a lot of my videos tend to be fairly rushed, um, but I try and get the quality there as well. Um, but on this occasion, I was a bit saddened because I didn't quite get the, the video promo that I wanted. Um, but at the same time, it was a good lesson in just being patient and just practicing. So yeah, just wanted to leave you with those thoughts. Um, as I say, I was gonna try and get out a nice looking video as, uh, as this week's video, but that didn't happen. Just wanted to give you a quick sort of you know, personal sort of update really um, as to what I tried to do over the weekend. Would have liked to produce a better looking video, but it didn't happen. And sometimes you just have to roll the punches. You have to surf the wave that you're on and just adapt to the situation. Don't get discouraged. Don't get put, put down by, you know, things that seemingly go wrong and just keep making videos. So thanks ever so much for watching guys. If this video did, help please do remember to like and subscribe that would be much appreciated and i will catch you in the next video where hopefully i will do a better tutorial next sunday bye for now <laughs>